Welcome to the Dell EMC Unity XT Crew Removal and Replacement Series. In this series of short videos, we're going to use Unisphere and UEM CLI commands to identify faulted custom replaceable units on a Dell EMC Unity XT storage system. We'll then look at the ways to prepare the system for service, including service mode and reset and hold modes. We'll demonstrate the removal and replacement of the faulted crew. And finally, verify the replacement crew is working correctly. One of the first things you want to do is to log on to the storage system using the Unisphere interface. This requires that you have initialized the system and provided an IP address in your browser. And once you do that, you're going to be brought to the page that you see here. You're going to have to have a username along with a password. That combination was uh, also set up during the initialization process and once you provide those correct credentials we'll be able to log in and view the dashboard page. And we see from the dashboard page that we have a, a hardware error and we mouse over that error to cause some components such as the fans, DP, etc. So we need to investigate a bit further by looking at the alerts. And uh, I see under the alerts that I have a power supply this processor enclosure and called out as A0. And also that the system has experienced one or more problems that may have to uh, be uh, reckoned with here. Again, the log is uh, going to tell us the same thing. And so that's what we look for. We look for the same time and date in the logs. We have the same call out. So we'll go ahead and go to the um, our system view and we see that the DP power supply A0 is faulted here. So I can go ahead and click on that. I could, could have done the same thing from the enclosures. And I can uh, see that the in fact the uh, power supply on disk processor enclosure uh, A0 is faulted. And so we're going to have to uh, swap out that part. Now to do that, I'm going to just don't have to really uh, go to uh, any uh, special uh, service mode or reset and hold mode. They're both SPs you can see here are normal. So provided I swap that power supply out uh, within the couple of minutes, uh, I should be okay. I don't have to do anything else. And here is the uh, the ENV PS show command showing you in fact that it calls out the same. Uh, power supply failure. So from the back of the system you the power uh, the uh, failed part will have a, a solid amber LED and we move the bail wire we take off the AC power cord and there's a little orange latch that you're going to sort of squeeze in as you uh, pull the power supply on out. You then uh, take your new power supply you line it uh, up on the slot and you push it back in. You'll hear a, a small click as, you, as it goes uh, uh, into the chassis. And then at that point, uh, once it's securely uh, into the DPE, go ahead and uh, cable up your power again and put your uh, bail wire retaining clip to hold that. And then let's go to the uh, verification of the, of the part. We see we have no issues Look, looking at the, uh, the dashboard. All the uh, critical errors that we had in the alerts now are gone. And the system looks healthy. We then go to the uh, view from the rear view. We see that the uh, power supply is now in a healthy state. Everything looks OK. So at this point, uh, everything uh, appears to be uh, normal and looks healthy. And that is how you uh, replace a power supply on a Unity XT storage system.